We are on our last tool in scenario-based modeling, which is the user story. I know, class, that I keep on mentioning or repeating user stories in our past discussions, um, specifically in Agile practices, because this is essentially the work product for eliciting requirements or, um, of users in Agile practices or in Agile processes. Um, because instead of conducting interviews, providing survey questionnaires for them to answer, um, collecting reports and observing the users, what they do, um, it is better if we will let them create or write down their user stories for us. Although the UML tools mentioned earlier can still be written as, um, as a complement to user stories. When I say user story, a user story is a tool used in agile software development to capture a description of software feature from an end user perspective. A user story describes the type of user, what they want, and why. The user story helps to create a simplified description of a requirement. So this is actually the format, if you can see here above. Um, type of the user, of course, what uh, as a rule or a persona, actually that's the actor itself, uh, what they want or what should be the requirements needed for them, and why. So what is the benefit if we will try to include um, their requirements to the system? This time, um, I will be showing you some of the um, example user stories, and I will read it one by one. For example, as a student, this is the actor, I should be able to view classes, view classes, this is a requirement, so I can choose from classes suitable to my schedule. Right? This is a good example. Number two, as a student, still, students, the actor, um, I should be able to select classes, still the same select classes is the requirement that I would like to enroll um, uh, to enroll in so that my advisor will know the classes I will enroll in. Mm -hmm. Another one, as an advisor, I should be able to view the classes enlisted by the students so I can advise them properly. As an advisor, I should be able to update the classes enlisted by the students based on my assessment. Last two, as a clerk, I should be able to encode the classes offered for the semester so that these can be viewed by students and advisors alike. And last example, as a student, I should be able to print the classes that I enrolled in as proof of my enrollment. Again, the format for creating a user story there should be a persona or your role. Next, the requirement. And last one is the benefit. Um, eventually, um, each user story is elaborated to include acceptance criteria that can, help, that can help be used for validation and design. For example, for user story, as a student, I should be able to view classes so I can choose from classes suitable to my class, or sorry, suitable to my schedule. So these are the acceptance criteria. Um, view classes based on the preferred course, of course. Um, show five classes per page, including details of each class. So that should be included in the acceptance criteria. Short, um, sort classes by section, okay, for section A, section B, section C. Next, show classes that are full so that the student will not select that class and so that um, the student will not enroll. Diba? So if you can still remember the lesson in Scram, the acceptance criteria will be used by product manager or the end user. So it's good if you also include um, the acceptance criteria.